AACR presents A Conversation with Dr. Jose Baselga. What can attendees expect at the AACR Annual Meeting 2013? This year, the Annual Meeting is going to be uh, the largest ever uh, that we've had. And we are expecting uh, close to 20,000 uh, participants from all over the world and from every single discipline of cancer research. We are having more than 6,000 uh, um, abstracts being presented at the meeting, uh, 35 major symposiums, forums, discussions, mini symposiums. So basically, uh, the annual meeting will be the place where the uh, best science uh, occurring today uh, in cancer is being presented. And we have some new features that uh, I'd like to, to, to highlight. Uh, we're going to have a number of very important clinical trials that are going to be presented for the first time at the ACR uh, annual meeting. And it's very fitting that in the place where the basic science discoveries are being made and presented, that the same meeting has the capacity to see through the whole process so that in the same place we have the early discoveries of the targets, uh, the early description of the new therapeutics or the new molecular subtypes, and at the same time we have the final story, uh, the moment where we can present that a given agent or a given uh, tumor subtype benefits from precisely what was being presented in the same meeting. So uh, a lot of new things and, uh, and a very exciting and comprehensive program. What benefit does the AACR Annual Meeting 2013 provide to attendees? The ACR Annual Meeting uh, is a must attend for cancer researchers from around the world. The benefits are are, 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 are innumerable, there are so many. Um, uh, the annual meeting is the forum where the best science uh, in cancer is being presented, where the big topics are being discussed in the symposiums or in the forum sessions. It's also a tremendous opportunity for networking with colleagues from your own discipline, from colleagues from other disciplines that are important and that can add value to what you do on a daily basis, from colleagues from the biotech and from the pharma community. So it's basically having under the same roof for a number of days the best of the cancer community uh, there together uh, discussing how to go forward. Why should young investigators attend this meeting? The ACR has put a lot of effort uh, trying to target uh, the needs of the young cancer uh, investigators. And the annual meeting is a unique place for them. That's the place where they can present their uh, exciting uh, uh, new data uh, in, from their labs and from their clinics. That's also a place where they can interact and network with other uh, scientists from uh, around the world. We will have the best symposia that there is. But also, I think for the younger people, uh, it's a good opportunity to get a good idea uh, on where the field is going, right? They can visualize uh, how things are moving ahead in cancer, and that's going to be very influential in their careers. And it's also uh, a good opportunity to learn from some of the discoveries that have already changed the life of, pe of people. They are going to be the next ones uh, contributing to, to, to these, right? So they better get ready. And I think to be in the annual meeting, seeing all this um, is something that uh, should be uh, very, very useful for, for, for them and very useful for the cancer research community as a whole. How was your experience as program committee chairperson? To be this uh, year's uh, program chair has been uh, a tremendous uh, experience, a very satisfying one. Uh, the possibility of working very closely with my program chairs, uh, leaders from every single discipline uh, in the area of cancer research, and putting together what we think is the best program ever. At the same time, uh, having uh, the opportunity to review over 6,000 abstracts that clearly, uh, collectively, represent the most exciting science that is taking, per, uh, taking uh, a place today uh, um, in, 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 in the scientific world, and uh, bringing them together into different sessions and poster sessions, uh, it's all very fulfilling. Why is it important to hold this year's meeting in Washington, D.C.? 
there is a strong symbolism in having this annual meeting, uh, this year's annual meeting in, in Washington, D.C., at, at a moment uh, in which uh, so many advances are occurring. We are so close, right, to make, uh, to change the lives of so many people. Cancer research is making strides in, in such a way and dealing uh, with a number of threats, uh, the funding uh, for cancer research being a big issue, to be in Washington and being able not only to present our scientific discoveries, but at the same time to be part of a bigger effort to rally uh, around the need to fund cancer research and medical research in general, uh, I think is the timing could not be better because our message, the message uh, of the cancer community and the message of the scientific community has to be heard and funding cannot be in our way, uh, you know, to, for our discoveries and for our cures to patients. How does this meeting convey progress in cancer research to the public? A very important uh, aspect of the ACR annual meeting is that the discoveries that are being presented in the meeting are being, uh, uh, are being distributed or they're being uh, disseminated around the world through a very impressive uh, media presence. We are hoping to have more than 120 uh, uh, reporters on site, in addition to many other um, uh, 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 journalists that will contact us uh, for the meeting. We're going to have the best uh, uh, well-known newspapers, the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, the Washington Post, etc. Uh, uh, you know, all the uh, TV stations, uh, CNN, uh, NBC, ABC, CBS, etc. And, uh, and, you know, and, and a lot of presence uh, out there in the community. And we're working very closely uh, with this community uh, to have our findings uh, reach to the uh, uh, to the uh, broader public.